I've been gone way too long. I owe you guys this. So I hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to a new Walking Dead theory video. I deeply, deeply apologize for going on another hiatus. I did not mean to do this. Delays, you know, they just happen. But without further ado, this is What If Carlos Trained Sarah, Part 3. Since the group was able to move through the herd of walkers without much effort, most of them make it back to the Civil War site. Bonnie and Mike make it back there with Sarita and Kenny, and are met later by Clementine, Sarah, Carlos, Jane, and Rebecca. The group then realizes that Luke, Nick, and Reggie aren't back and that they should go look for them. Sarah tells Clementine she'll go with her and Jane to cover more ground and that her father should stay with the others to help Rebecca. Similar to canon, Jane shows Clementine along with Sarah how to check the corpses they find for any supplies. Sarah picks this up quickly and comes across the ammo that Clementine would find in the canon storyline. She also learns how to subdue the walkers the way Jane showed Clem. The three of them would make it over to the trailer park where they'd see the walkers trying to break in through the doors. They hear Nick struggling on the other side to keep the walkers from getting in. Clementine, Sarah, and Jane work together to clear out the walkers with the car horn. They manage to make it inside where they meet Luke, Nick, and Reggie. Nick doesn't feel that he can go on anymore. This places him in the same position that Sarah was in during the canon storyline, or like the earlier scenario when he was with Clem in the whiskey cellar. You can convince Nick to get up with Sarah there to help out. Sarah tells Nick that Pete would want him to live and that he needs to be a survivor now. She says to him, we've come too far to give up. Luke yells at Nick, telling him to listen to her and Clem. Jane tells everyone that they need to go and that leaving Nick might be the only option they have. The pressure builds up as the walkers continue to bang on the door. Depending on your choice here, Sarah's approach to survival can become more aggressive or more rational. If you fail to convince Nick and decide to leave him, Sarah's next action depends on whether or not you let her kill Carver. If you kept her from killing Carver, Sarah hugs Nick before leaving the trailer. Luke is saddened by the inevitable loss of his best friend, and Nick tells Clementine to watch out for him. If you allowed Sarah to kill Carver, Sarah points her gun at Nick from outside of the trailer. As the walkers pour in to attack him, Sarah tells him, I'm sorry, before shooting him in the head so he doesn't feel any pain from being ripped apart. She turns to Clementine, telling her she couldn't let him suffer. Luke and Reggie are surprised by Sarah's actions, while Jane doesn't show a lot of concern. As Clementine, you can tell Sarah that it wasn't necessary or show support for her decision. If Nick lives, there's not much dialogue other than Rebecca being relieved that he's okay. If Nick dies, however, Rebecca will react the same way she did in canon. Carlos asks them how it happened. Depending on your scenario, you can simply say that Nick gave up and they had to leave him, or that Sarah also shot Nick to keep him from feeling any pain. Carlos becomes furious and tells Clementine that she shouldn't have let her kill Carver, blaming her for the brutal path that Sarah has chosen. Kenny interrupts Carlos, telling him that Sarah did what was necessary. The two would get into a shouting match before Luke defuses the situation. Sarah tells Carlos, I did what I had to for you, and you should be thankful for that. The group eventually splits up with Bonnie and Mike walking over to the museum. Reggie stays with Sarita, Kenny, Rebecca, and Carlos. Luke and her Nick start checking the perimeter. Clementine and Sarah go with Jane to check out the observation deck. Eventually, Arvo arrives and the three of them hide to get the jump on him. After Jane disarms him, Sarah reveals herself with her gun pointed at Arvo. They discover his medicine stash, and Clementine has to decide on whether or not to take the supplies. Jane and Sarah feel like it's in the group's best interest to take the medicine. If you decide to take Arvo's supplies, Sarah will be supportive of Clem's actions. If you decide not to take them, Sarah and Jane will override Clem's decision by taking them anyway. Similar to season 1 when the group decided on taking food from the station wagon. Arvo threatens them, which provokes Jane to push him towards the edge of the deck. If Sarah's more aggressive based on your choices, she tells Jane to shoot him, so he doesn't come back with more people. She tells her she'll do it herself if she has to, demonstrating the drastic change she's gone through due to her past actions. If Sarah's rational, she tells her to stop. Either way, Jane lets Arvo go with a warning. We fast forward to when Clementine and Sarah go to the museum to help Mike and Bonnie. They handle the walker in the ticket booth and make their way back to the group without any trouble. The walkers approach the group as they start walking towards the observation deck. They make it back so that Carlos can help Rebecca deliver her baby. Kenny stays with Carlos and Reggie while they're helping Rebecca. The group tries to hold the herd back on the stairs. Sarah stays close to Clementine so she doesn't end up falling off the deck when it collapses. Clementine collapses the rest of the deck and the group is saved from the herd. AJ is delivered successfully and Jane chooses to stay with the group since Sarah doesn't die. Also, given that Carlos is present in this scenario, his training as a doctor puts Rebecca in a much better condition, which keeps her from dying later on due to blood loss. Her chances of survival are also higher if you had Mike grab the water. 
but overall she's fine. Kenny does still urge everyone to leave in the morning. Majority of the group is in favor of staying for a few more days. As Clementine, if you side with Kenny, Sarah and the others aren't pleased with her decision. If you side with everyone else, Sarah, as well as Carlos, are happy with Clem's decision. The group would later on encounter Arvo and his men, who quickly escalate everything into a standoff. If Sarah threatened Arvo, she tells him they should have handled him back at the deck. Reggie tries to rationalize with the Russians, telling them they could all just work together rather than fight. He also says that they have children who have already had their fair share of violence. This doesn't convince them to stop, and one of the Russians aims their gun at Rebecca, as they don't care much for the baby's survival. Reggie jumps in front of her before the guy shoots, hitting Reggie in the chest. This initiates the shootout, forcing everyone to get down. Sarah either gets to cover if she doesn't threaten Arvo, or she shoots at him first. His sister gets caught in the crossfire, however, and takes the bullet instead. If Nick is still alive at this point, he tries to help Mike protect Rebecca and AJ, and gets them behind cover with Clementine and Luke. The rest of this scenario plays out similar to the canon version, only this time, Luke isn't shot in the leg. It's either Carlos or Nick if he happened to survive. At this point, there's only one guy left to fight. Kenny grabs Arvo, who grows more hysterical after his sister turns. If Sarah threatened Arvo, she shoots the walker without any hesitation. If she didn't, then Carlos puts down the walker. Arvo breaks away from Kenny's grip, and the Russian bandit has the upper hand. However, while he's distracted, Luke shoots him right in the head, ending the fight. The group rushes to Reggie to see if they can help him, but by this point, it's too late for him. The group mourns the loss of Reggie as they stand over his corpse. Sarah will either have some animosity towards Arvo due to his men killing Reggie, or even more of a vendetta against him if you allowed her to become more aggressive. Kenny wants Arvo dead, and Sarah doesn't object to him pointing his gun at Arvo, since Carlos could have been killed due to his men. Nick also agrees with Kenny, and says they shouldn't take any chances with him. The group does decide to trust Arvo to get them to the house, but Sarah gives him an angry look, showing that she doesn't trust him. Fast forwarding to the scenario at the power plant, the group sits at the fire, where they're given a moment to relax. Sarah reflects on everything that's led up to this moment, and thanks Clem for helping her learn more over the course of their journey. Based on your decisions, she does tell Clementine how conflicted she's been over the harsh choices she's made, whether it was killing Carver, shooting Nick, or wanting Arvo dead. As Clementine, you can tell Sarah that she needs to be more rational, or she's just doing what she has to do to keep the group safe. Carlos either supports their friendship, or is very reluctant if Sarah has taken a more brutal path. The group finally gets to the frozen lake. Arvo runs off from the group as they're walking on the ice like in canon. Kenny, along with Sarita, Mike, and Rebecca, make it safely across with the baby. In this scenario, Luke doesn't get caught on the ice since he wasn't shot in the leg. Instead, it's either Carlos or Nick if he survived. If Nick is the one caught on the ice, Luke tries to help him. As Clementine, you can try to save him similar to Luke in the canon storyline. Luke tells Clementine to stay back and to shoot the walkers. If you choose to go after Nick, Sarah will stand behind Clem and tell her, I'll cover you. She shoots the walkers as Clementine approaches Nick. Unfortunately, the ice collapses and they both fall in. While struggling in the water, walkers approach Clem and Nick. Luke jumps in to help Clementine up. Sadly, there's nothing they can do for Nick, as he's pulled to the bottom by one of the walkers, similar to Luke and Cannon. Clem is rushed to the house where the group gets a fire started. If Carlos is the one who was shot in the leg, Sarah lets her father lean on her to cross the lake. Due to the extra weight, however, they both fall into the ice. In this moment of panic, Carlos pushes Sarah up above the water, saving her but dooming himself in the process. Sarah tries to rush in to save him. You can either choose to dive down and try to help Carlos, or grab onto Sarah and pull her up. If you choose to dive after Carlos, your relationship with Sarah will become stronger, since you tried to help her save her father. When attempting to save Carlos, he pushes both of them away, since the walkers are in the water with them. He grabs onto the walkers, pulling them down into the lake with him, using this last act to save his daughter. If you attempt to pull Sarah back, she fights against you and strikes Clementine. After Clementine forces Sarah to the surface, the damage is done. Carlos dies, and Sarah glares at Clementine with a hateful look and blames her for her father's death. They both make it to the house safely, and Kenny berates Arvo. Sarita tells him to calm down, which automatically diffuses the situation. And Sarah is furious with Clementine. She calls her a monster for letting her father die, and wishes it was her instead. She pulls her gun on Clementine, and the group is quick to react, telling her to lower her gun. You can choose to draw your gun as well, or try and reason with Sarah, telling her that she didn't want that to happen, and that she just wanted to keep her alive. Kenny and Rebecca step in to combat Sarah. Rebecca tells Sarah she would have done anything to keep AJ alive, even if that meant risking her life. She says Clementine just wanted to keep her safe, and that her father would have done the same thing. Kenny pitches in, telling her if he could trade places with his dead son, he would. Sarah drops the gun, and hugs Rebecca, crying in her arms. She walks off, keeping some distance between her and Clem. If you didn't pull Sarah out of the water, most of this scenario plays out similar to canon. Later on, Kenny gets the old truck working, 
and tells everyone that they should head for Wellington. The group doesn't agree and says it might be best to find someplace else. Kenny says that before they go, they should leave Arvo. Most of the group disagrees, especially Mike and Bonnie. If you didn't attempt to pull Sarah out of the lake, she agrees that they should leave him and that he's the reason her father is dead. The group sleeps on it, and Clementine comes to find out that Mike and Bonnie are trying to steal the truck with Arvo, given that Kenny still mistreated him over the course of their trip. Sarah walks next to Clementine. They both have their guns pointed at Mike and Bonnie, and Arvo is armed with his rifle. Mike tries to reason with them, but Sarah says they're traitors, and threatens to shoot him, as she's still furious with Arvo for getting her father killed. She raises her gun to Arvo, and shoots him immediately. However, the gun goes off, and he shoots Clementine in the shoulder. Clem falls down, and Sarah is in shock. She drops her gun, telling Clem she's sorry. Clem would black out at this point and wake up in the truck with the rest of the group heading back to Howe's. Sarah asks Clem if she's okay and apologizes again. She tells her that she took it too far by risking Clem's life. Sarah expands on her mistake if she took the more aggressive path to survival. The two would hug before the group eventually makes it back to Howe's. We'll now go back to the scenario where Nick died in the ice instead of Carlos. When Kenny gets the truck working, Carlos tells them that it's better to get the group back to Howe's so they can get the formula for AJ. This convinces Kenny since he already trusts Carlos when it comes to Rebecca. Carlos agrees that leaving Arvo is the best idea, which further influences Bonnie and Mike's decision. When Clementine approaches them while they're stealing the truck, Carlos sneaks up behind her, with Sarah by his side. They try to get the jump on them together until Arvo spots them. What happens next depends on who shot Arvo's sister. If Sarah shot Arvo's dead sister, he points the rifle at her. If Carlos shot her, then the rifle is pointed at him. Bonnie and Mike try to negotiate with them, but while everyone's distracted, Arvo's already made up his mind and aims, ready to fire at his target, until... Carlos is inevitably shot in the chest and falls on the ground, coughing on his own blood. If the gun was pointed at Sarah, Carlos notices and jumps in front of his daughter, shielding her from the blast. Sarah is in complete shock for a split second, seeing her father fall to the ground in his last act to protect her. Her reaction to this depends on which path you let her take. If you had Sarah take the rational path, she rushes to her father immediately, giving you the opportunity to shoot and kill Arvo, which causes Mike and Bonnie to run off, never to be seen again. If you had Sarah take the aggressive path, she shoots Arvo right in the chest, making him no longer a threat. However, she doesn't stop there, as she then turns to Mike and Bonnie, whose fates, in her eyes, are already sealed. She shoots Mike, killing him instantly which causes Bonnie to try to get away. But before she can take another step, Sarah shoots her in the back and runs up to her so she can finish the job. She cries as she holds her gun on Bonnie with the blood of her father on her hands and tells her, I never should have trusted you. As Clementine, you can convince her to let Bonnie bleed out or simply let her finish her off. Either way, all three of them die at the hands of Sarah. The group rushes out to find Sarah holding her father in her arms. Carlos looks up at his daughter, trying to remain optimistic despite not having much time left. He says to her, Sarah, look at me. It's gonna be okay. Carlos looks to Clementine and tells her to keep him from turning and to make sure that Sarah doesn't look. Sarah responds, saying she should do it herself. You can choose to put Carlos down yourself or leave it in Sarah's hands. If you decide to shoot Carlos, Sarah hugs him before walking into the house to be with Rebecca. Carlos tells Clem to watch out for his daughter before being put out of his misery. If you leave it up to Sarah, she hugs her father before aiming her gun at him. Crying with the gun in her hands, she tells him, I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. Carlos is put down and buried outside of the house. She looks to Rebecca and Clementine for comfort. The group packs up all of their things and heads back to house. Well, guys, that has been part three of What If Carlos Trained Sarah. I cannot tell you how happy I am to finally be done with this video. I really appreciate all of you being so patient and waiting for as long as you have. I hope this was worth the wait. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new and drop a suggestion for future videos. This series will go on for as long as you guys can keep providing me with new concepts and new topics to talk about. Thank you all so much for, you know, being wonderful subscribers and allowing me to build a following here. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Two cents, out.